Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing our 2019 holiday gift baskets. And I've created several gift baskets that include sporting baskets, movie baskets, wine and cheese, and more. So stay tuned. The first basket we're going to work on today is the baking basket. So this is the basket that I like to give for people who love to bake cookies or cake or brownies. So I bought several things at Walmart and the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is this rose gold metal basket that I got and it's about three dollars and fifty cents so it's pretty inexpensive and I got several different baking goods at Walmart as well from the Betty Crocker brand. So I got some brownie mix, I got some cake mix, I got some chocolate chip mix, and I got a Frozen 2 edition with Olaf for cookie mix and it has everything already in a mason jar. I went ahead and got milk chocolate frosting to put on the for the cake mix here. And I got this at uh, TJ Maxx, it's a spatula with a cookie cutter. Got a non-stick brownie pan. So all of this is going to be included in this basket. A clear basket gift bag that I got at Michaels and this is the brand and I'm using a size medium to fit this small metal basket I already opened it to check if it, if it fit and it did and so to actually tie it up I'm gonna use a plaid design that I got at Walmart so I got this 30 foot ribbon at Walmart and you can really find this anywhere where they're selling Christmas decor at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, Target. And here you have your baking basket. So the second basket that I want to talk about is our movie basket. And so I have picked up several popcorn baskets from the Dollar Tree and several candies. So I got the Sour Patch, I got some bubble gum, some Skittles, some M&Ms, some Hot Cheetos, Kit Kat, Fanta, and a classic movie, which I was able to find on Amazon. And so the first thing that I want to do is put some fillers in there, and I got these fillers from the Dollar Tree as well. I should have grabbed white, but unfortunately I wasn't thinking, so I grabbed brown. So I put it in here just to kind of give my popcorn in some height. And if you needed to add a little bit of height or volume, you can always do so by using tape. So voila, here we have our movie basket and I am going to use the same clear 
gift bags just to make it look nice and fancy. And you can always add a gift card to Amazon or to Netflix or to Fandango. And as you can tell, I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination to make those. Nevertheless, I am trying. And here you have it your movie basket. So the third basket we're gonna talk about today is the sports basket. So I found this basket in my house and I am going to recycle it. So I have several things here that is intended for a sports game. So let's start with Cracker Jack. We have some corn nuts, some peanuts, some sunflower seeds, 49er socks, because we are diehard 49er fans here, some 49er gloves, a 49er can cooler, and this is a little non-related to sports, so it's a little irrelevant, but I love these slippers and it's Papa Bear. I think they were so pretty and I got these at Walmart for about $10. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and put it in my basket. And I'm gonna add some, some tissue paper as fillers just to make it a little higher. And so here you have it. This is what I call the sports basket. And you wanna give this to anyone who loves sports and you can give it, you can give whatever team that they like, whether it's football, baseball. Okay, so this next basket is the hot chocolate basket. So I went ahead and got the Nestle brand hot chocolate. I got some shortbread. I got some butter cookies. Some mini marshmallows. Wanted to get some Hershey Kisses. And I got some Mickey Muds. And I got two of them. So we're gonna put them in to our rose gold basket that we have. And there you have it. Something very simple, but this is a very kind gesture 
of giving them some cookies. And these cookies I got at the Dollar Store, I'm sorry, at the Dollar Tree. I got the candy cane at Walmart for $2 and everything else is pretty inexpensive. So this is $20 and under kind of basket. So this basket is the spa basket and it's my favorite basket because I like to relax, I like to cuddle, I like to take time to unwind for myself. So I've set this basket aside and I've kind of prepared all of my favorite things hoping that the recipient is going to enjoy it as much as I am. Um, so I went and I got this throw. It's a very nice throw that I was able to get for about $10. At, I found this one actually at Ross and I found this basket as well in Ross that was let's see I still have it here $3.99 so in addition to the to the row I got some slippers some house slippers which you can never have enough of these house slippers and I added a scented candle Mm, it smells so good. I got this at TJ Maxx for about four bucks. I got some Ghirardelli chocolate because you can never have enough chocolate and this is a special edition for the holidays, the peppermint. I got some tea that I bought that I brought back from London. This is some mineral for your bath. So when you want to take a bubble bath and enjoy some mineral salt and then we have this bath bomb a set of pajamas which is really nice and soft and I got this rooted facial cleanser from Grove Collaborative which is an online subscription that I have for all of my cleaning products so that's where I purchase all of my cleaning products for home and they included that so I could try it out and I have I have my own facial cleanser and it's really really nice it's all natural very good for my skin especially because I have very sensitive skin and then I wanted to get this book from Bianca Olthoff that is a pastor in Orange County and she has come to my church I think I've heard her preach maybe two or three times and she is just great she's really really a great speaker she's really funny she says she's half hood and half holy so she has a little bit of spice into her and then I also like these paper masks from the Yes2 brand and so I've included three different types one is for calming, soothing, and for hydrating. And so I also wanted to talk about this. So these are acrylic tumblers. I got a set of 12 of these at Amazon for about $36. So if you make the math, this plus the decal that I got, the monogram decal, it comes out to about $3 a person. So this is actually a really nice gift to give. So here's my monogram and I was able to get this on my on an Etsy shop for 99 cents and we can put it right here on our bottle and so this is a really really nice gift to give to anyone whether it's your coworker, a good friend a neighbor someone from church just to show them that you're you know just to show them a little bit of appreciation and to show that you've actually thought outside of the box and you've gotten them a personalized tumbler so I'm gonna go ahead and do this right with you guys and so look how pretty that is it's a nice monogrammed tumbler where you can drink your water and you can include this in your basket for your friend Okay, so now we're gonna put everything together in this basket. And I'm gonna put throw in first. Let me see if I can. Okay. Second, I'm gonna put this pajama in there.
from the book from Bianca. I haven't read the book personally, but I keep hearing um, great reviews on the book. Everyone keeps saying that it is such that it is such a great book, that it's very interesting, that, she, that she's really funny. And I believe it. I mean, the lady is funny. She is good. <clears throat> oh, maybe I should take the price off of this. God, it smells so good. It's the apple wreath scent, but oh. It's very Christmassy. I love it. Take the price off. my tape just to kind of make it look really nice and not kind of all over the place I'm just going to kind of tape the back of this oops didn't actually stick let's do that again kind of make it sound like this the spa gift basket with all kinds of goodies so honestly, I purchased a bag for it, the jumbo bag. You can you can purchase a bag and put a bag if you wanted to, or you can just leave it as is and put a bow around it if you want it to. Um, I think I'm gonna do the bag. I already bought it. I might as well try it out, and if not, I can always take it off. always cut this as well because it may be a little too big like in this case and it looks so much better that way these angles on my bows. I don't know why, but I do. I think they look really pretty. All right, and there you have it. The spa gift basket. So this is our last basket that we're gonna cover today. And it's the wine and salami and cracker basket. I didn't include cheese in this basket as much as I'd love to because cheese obviously expires and I don't want to have cheese here sitting, sitting out and rotting on us. So I want to talk about this wine. I thought that you can obviously get any wine that you'd like, but I personally got this wine when my husband and I went to the castle of Canada, Napa and we got the Moscato wine, which is really good. It's about $30 a bottle. Um, and I got dry salami, so this we can keep out for a while. This is dry salami and it goes perfect with like if you have a cheese board and some crackers, which I got from Trader Joe's. I also got some olives from Trader Joe's and some crackers. This is actually some chocolate hazelnut um, waffles. And I also got a cheese board. To add with it so the person my recipient can obviously go and get some cheese if they wanted to so I got this basket for under five or six dollars down at Walmart so I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my basket this cheese board I think it's so beautiful it's very soft it's food safe and you have everything. I mean, it's really like a tree. It's really, really, really nice. 
Okay, so now putting this all together, the person receiving this is going to be very fortunate to be receiving one of our favorite wine bottles. And there you have it. And again, you really, I mean, you could prepare this any way you'd like. You can do this without a bag and just the ribbon. I really like the idea of the gift bags. I think it makes it look really nice. And just that extra special touch. So I got a, I'm gonna use another jumbo size. Here is the final product of the salami and wine basket. All right guys, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and that you guys will use these gift ideas for this Christmas season for your friends and your family. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next one. Bye.